What's up, world? Mr. Magnaragnarok here. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. In the last video, we got the goddess's bell, but at the cost of Joseph's life. Poor Joseph. Poor Molly. In this video, we're gonna talk to Hilda about where we have to go next. So Joseph gave his life for that bell. We cannot let Joseph die in vain. Please take that bell to Castle Cashion at once. Okay, well, we have we now have our next destination down, so let's go to Castle Cashion. Okay. Now, when we get out to the world map, I want to show you guys something real quick as to where the place is. Okay, get the world map out, and right over here, this is where Bafsk is, but if you go down here, this little thing right here in the center of these mountains is where Castle Cashion is. I'm not going to travel there on foot, because it's going to take way too long to even get there. So instead, so instead, what I'll do is I'll meet you guys back at Poft, and we'll talk to Sid, and he, he'll take us to Castle Cashion. So I'll see you guys at where Sid is in just a moment. Okay, we're back here in Poft, and here's Sid. We're going to talk to his partner here. Take us to Cashion. Alright, we got a deal. Now we'll prepare the airship for takeoff, so come to the airfield outside this town. Alright, so we are gonna meet them there. Anyways, how's everyone's day been going? Mine's been going great so far. I hope your guys' day is going great. Still recording this right after the last episode. Anyways, this is what the airship looks like when you're flying it in Final Fantasy 2. Enjoy the moment, cuz we're done. <laughs> uh, short lived, I guess. Anyways, this is Castle Cashion, the first floor. Pretty much, I will say, I like the design for all the stuff in this game, but this place just takes the cake. I'm sorry, but it really does. The door is locked. Go to items and pull out your goddess spell. The bell rang beautifully and the door opened. Alright, let's head in. Hello, Gordon. I thought I was the only one who could retrieve the Sunfire, so I came back here. I came looking for Eagles... Agile... Edgels? I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that, viewers. I'm just gonna call it Edgels. Edgels Torch, but couldn't get past the monsters dwelling here. I couldn't just leave empty-handed, so I've been standing here stuck. But you know this castle quite well, don't you? The castle is full of secrets that even I don't fully comprehend. I cannot guide you, but will you take me with you? Sweet! We get another party member, guys! Gordon joined the party! That means victory, right? Mm, not quite. Gordon here, as you can see, his stats suck. Now you're probably wondering, why does his stats suck? <laughs> Except for one thing, he has two, two, and everything. So pretty much, his status isn't actually that suckish, but... Uh, his HP and MP could use a lot of work, wouldn't you say, viewers? Uh, equipment. Do I have anything that can equip for you? I 
could give you a mithril mace, which is better. Okay, good. So let's, let's begin this dungeon. Yes, this is a third dungeon. Two dungeons in a row, Grandma. Anyways, I believe we want to head to the left. I believe this is where we need to go. Uh, most of these rooms in this place is usually empty. However, some of them have chests that are worth getting. And there are a few enemies in this place, which I'm hoping to show off. Hopefully. Alright, second floor. Uh, let's head down. Man, that battle was annoying. Yeah, that's how annoying it was. Gordon's HP fell like crap. Gus almost died. And both of them are in darkness. Same goes for Maria, who's not darkness, but she almost died. Man, that battle was stupid. Luckily, though, I bought some eye drops beforehand, so that was at least nice of me to get them. Alright, I only have one more eye drops left, though. Because I was trying to conserve some gill. Anyways, screw it, I'm healing. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is taking too long. Alright, good enough. Uh, right. And... Yeah. Ooh, we finally have a new enemy here, the Ogres. The Ogres, they have a decent amount of attack power. Uh, Defense-wise, I don't think their defenses are too strong. But they have a decent amount of health, so... Okay, I was wrong. Maybe their defense is great. But their attack power is also decent as well. Wow, even Gus is having trouble. There we go, critical hit. That's what I'd like to see. Raise HP and endurance increase. Sweet. Uh, where was it at now? 160. Whoa, okay. I'll take that. I will gladly take that. Chess. In here, 300 gil. Nice. Okay, well it didn't take long for Gordon to catch up with us HP and endurance wise, so yeah, that's what he got in return at the end of that battle. Alright, good. Let's keep heading this way. And this should take us to the next floor. Okay, that was a weird drop. Uh, in that last battle that I did off screen, uh, Gus got HP and Endurance increase, Gordon got Agility increase, but the best thing that that guy dropped was a Mithril Mace. Why he had it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna give this to Gordon, cause... Or actually, no, he is holding it. Never mind. Okay, let's just move on. <laughs> uh, so enemies are starting to drop Mithril items. That's actually cool. Anyways, um... Ooh, we have a new enemy, the Were Rats. If I remember correctly, these guys give out a lot of gill. So these guys are somewhat worth killing, I guess. They don't have much health or much of defense attack power wise, but they can poison you. And this sort of poison will actually stay even at the end of battle. They will permanently stick to your party unless you get rid of them with an antidote or Esuna. Damn it! I forgot to get Esuna at the end of the last video. Crap! I knew I should. I for, I knew I was gonna forget something, and that's what it was. God damn it! Ooh. Um. Okay, I might as well just show this battle off and see if I can show them poisoning one of my characters. Hopefully so. Uh, Virian, why aren't you doing more power? Yeah, you see that poison right there? That type of poison will actually stay, at the, even at the end of the battle. So unless you have an antidote or Esuna on you, they're gonna remain poisoned, and they'll eventually die. Unless you do something about it. 
Luckily though, I've been gathering so much as soon as, or not as soon as, I've been gathering so many antidotes to this project that I have enough to practically last throughout the rest of this dungeon. <laughs> oh, you silly little rats. You thought you could get me that easily. Well, you wrong! I don't know why I put up a demonic voice, but oh well. Maria's agility increase. Maria's HP increase. Maria's endurance increase. Sweet. At least everybody's status is going up in these last two dungeons. I'm actually glad for that. Alright, get rid of the poison. And get rid of the other poison. Alright, and... Uh, actually, let me just use two potions. Alright, good enough. Chess, must get. In here, gold shield, and a monster in a box. Okay, nothing much in that battle. It was just three rare rats, that's all. Uh, gold shield. Is this better? Gold shield resistant to poison. Oh, that is better. I'm gonna give this to Gordon here since, well, it kind of fits him. I don't know why, but it just fits him for some reason. Dead end. Okay. Ooh, and guess who's returned from Submit Falls, guys? The Spike Toys. He's finally back. This time he's a regular enemy now. So I figured I might as well show this battle off. Alright, Gus, I'm wanting your ice to level up now sometime today. Sometime within this project if possible, so I'm going to make you use ice on the spike toys. And decent damage, I guess. Oh my god, the ogre's not dead yet, seriously. Virian, same goes for you on the ice. I want to see how much damage Gus can do to the spike toy since his attack powers increase. Or like strength, actually, excuse me. Or never mind, Maria could just kill it with one shot. Gus strength increase, Gordon's AP increase, sweet. I've been saying sweet so much in this video. I apologize if I have. Uh, yeah, fearing you might as well just cure Gordon and Gus. All right, good enough. All right, let's hit down this other path right over here and see where it leads us. Ooh, um, wow. Was not expecting this. Guess who's back from the ice cavern, guys? The Adamant Toys. He just pretty much one shot Gordon there. And I don't like that at all. That scares me. Why is he here? Oh my god, why is he here? Just why? He freaking one shot at Gordon there. Like it was nothing. At least had the decency to attack Maria. Okay, good. Maria survived. Maria survived. I can take that. Furion, please cure Maria. I don't care for Gordon. I value Maria more. I'm sorry, but this is actually scary. Okay, please kill the Ottoman toys. Please. Oh, wow. Gordon actually got a critical and he did 21 damage. Kind of surprised. Okay, that's fine. Furion can take it. Furion, cure yourself. Maria, just use ice to on this guy. And Gus, you do the same. Yeah, no damage that time. Uh, the game wasn't going to be fair to me that time. Yeah, we fought this guy as a boss in the last episode, and now he's a common enemy in this place. So, if you find him, be careful, because you're going to need it. Okay, God, I almost got massacred in that battle. Glad I survived it, though. That's all that matters. 
Okay, I'm just gonna use potions because I don't want to waste any more of my MP because I want to save it for what's gonna come up here very soon. Anyway, so let's head up. Ooh, at the end of that last battle, I actually got a Mithril Hound. This is also one of the Mithril items that we can get from this place. And it's like I said in the last video, this is actually the place I'm referring to where you can get the Mithril items. So, yeah. Let's see. This would benefit you, but what about the others? Benefit Maria. Benefit Gus. You know what? I'm gonna give this Mithril Helm to Maria, cause she has the lowest defense. I have the three main trio here. So anyways, let's keep heading up. And to the next floor while we're at it. Um, okay, this place is pretty big. I hope I know where I'm gonna go. Let's head this way. Now again, most of these rooms are completely empty, but some of them will actually lead to chests. And some of the chests might be mithril equipment. I don't know which is which, but I may not find out. Holy crap, I've almost been recording for two hours. Holy crap, man. I, I gotta be careful now. Anyways, if we go up here, this will take us to the fifth floor. Okay, I gotta be careful. I gotta really conserve my MP. And actually, if I remember correctly, in this room... What? Nothing? What? Okay, for some reason, I thought there were chests in this room. I must be thinking of the Dawns of Souls version, I guess, because... I swear there should be some chests in this room, but there, there's not, though. That's weird. Again, I might be thinking of the Dawn of Souls version. You know, I pretty much hate to admit this, viewers, but I think Gus is actually my most powerful character I have. I hate to admit it, as sad as that sounds. Okay. Oh, crap, I forgot. Yeah, two of my characters were poisoned in that battle, and surprisingly enough, it was Maria and Gus. But luckily, I have a lot of antidotes, so take my antidotes and shove it up your butt. I don't know why I had to say it like that, but okay. I'm weird and tired. I, I, I'm sorry, viewers. That's probably it. Because this is the third video I'm recording in a row right now. Golden Mill, but a monster inside the box. Crap. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um. New enemies here. But these enemies, I'm pretty sure, are tough. As balls. The mines. They're probably stronger than grenades. So... I don't know how this will go. Yeah? Uh, why is Gordon doing more damage than Period? Well, actually, yeah, Gordon does more damage to period than Period because he has practically 22 and everything. Oh boy, I do not like this situation at all. <laughs> it's making me sad. It really is. Okay, that mine's dead, for certain. <gasps> oh no, oh. Okay, thank you for surviving, Period. Thank you so much. <sighs> Heal yourself. I'm sorry, Period, but you've got to. Maria, you're gonna have to cure Gus, cause, again, I hate to really admit it, Gus is my most powerful character. He has more health, he can endure most things, and if I train him hard enough in magic, he could be a potential threat. Like, look at that damage he does. Okay, good, he survived. Gus can take a self-destruct 5 and survive. Therian sword skill improved. Therian shield. Spear for Maria. Endurance for Maria. Gus HP increase. Gus endurance increase. Gordon's staff increase. Gordon's shield increase. 
Well, a lot of stuff increased that battle. <laughs> well, at least it'll do more damage now, so that's actually nice. Oh my god, we're down to this situation again. Actually, no. I bought plenty of high potions. Haha. <laughs> nice. Sadly enough, Maria has more health than Firion. What the balls? I don't know. Uh, just give it to Firion and let's move on. Because I'm past two hours of recording right now, and I gotta get this done as quickly as possible. I can't sit around here anymore, any longer. Uh, actually, let's head up, because I'm pretty sure that's where we need to go, hopefully. Actually, no. Ooh, uh, new enemy here, the gas, but... Ooh, please don't blind me, please don't blind me. Ah, oh, dang it, you got Virian. Oh, well, actually, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I have one more eye drops left, so... Actually, I may be able to cure Furion's blind. Oh, crap, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. <laughs> I spoke too soon. <laughs> why, mommy, why? <clears throat> Furion's endurance increased at least. Oh, man. God. Yeah, like seriously, I only have one eye drops left. Question is, who should I use it for? Virion. I'm actually going to use it for Virion since, one, even though he's somewhat my weakest character now, he still has more MP than anybody else, and I need him. Okay, I'm sorry Maria and Gordon, but you're gonna have to live in the darkness, at least for just a little while. I apologize. This, also, this place is also great for gill grinding, so in case you get tired of the ice cavern, this is basically your best, your other best alternative, I guess. Since you can fight those were-rats and get like a lot of gill from them. Anyways? Oh my god, it's a fire wall that has a face. Let's talk to it. It is the guardian of Edgeel's torch, Shrieker. Alright, our third? Yeah, no, actually, this is our fourth boss, Shrieker. Basically, do not hit this guy with magic attacks. If you do, you will be a sad little monkey, because all you will do is heal his health. That's it. You just gotta hit this guy with basically your physical attacks. He doesn't have too much health, but he has a lot of defense. That and this is probably the best battle in the game to increase your magic defense. Like, watch what he'll do. He'll do Ice 8. But, it doesn't do much, since his magic stats sucks. Wow, seriously, am I going to have to rely on Gus for this battle and Maria? Come on, Virian and Gordon, do more damage. Bolt 8. Oh boy. Yeah, that kind of hurt a little bit. Come on, Gordon and Furion. Seriously? You're gonna let Gus do all the work? Okay, well actually, Furion, you can just heal everybody. Maria, you can do the same. Gus, you just keep attacking, and Gordon, for the love of Christ, could you please hit him? Poison 8. Oh boy. Okay, that didn't do too much. We should be able to recover. Yeah, we'll recover from it. Are you dead? Oh, not quite. Okay, Virion. Uh, cure everybody. Rhea, you cure Furion, because he's going to be in grave danger after this next attack. Gus, you keep attacking, and Gordon, 
I swear to God, you better hit him. Alright, come on. Okay, he hit him, but it did crap damage. Great job, Gordon. I could always rely on you, buddy. Not really. Anyways. There has to be another way to this fight. There just has to be. Actually, you know what? While I still have... MP left, I'm just gonna cast Shell. At least Gordon's gonna get plenty of level up after this fight, and so will everyone else, since their magic defense is gonna go up after this. Okay, um, Virian, you can just cure Gordon. Maria, you just attack. Gus, you do the same. Gordon, please do some damage. Please, I'm begging you. I am gravely begging you, Gordon. No? Okay. Disrespect my wishes more, why don't you? Oh my god, are you serious? I can't damage this guy anymore? Come on, dude. That was five hits, and it did no damage. What the fuck, man? Oh my god, please die already. Please die? Come on. Please kill him. Please kill him. Yes! Thank you! Thank you! God, that was annoying. Furious Magic Defense, Furious MP, Furious Spirit, Furious Magic, Furious Evasion. Maria's strength, Gordon's HP, Gordon's strength, all increase. God, that was annoying. It should not have taken that long. I don't know why he had so much health. Anyways, we get Edgel's torch. God, there's like no way he should have had that much health. I don't even remember him having that much health. And, oh my god. Please tell me I have an ether. <laughs> I can't exit this place because Maria is the only character who knows warp. And that's the only quickest way out of here. Oh my god. Ugh. I'll meet you guys back at the first floor where the fire was. God, this is stupid. I gotta walk all the way back down there. Okay, you know what? Just... Just screw this. I'll I'll meet you guys back down there in the next episode. I I apologize that this episode not has gone on for a bit longer than expected, but God, this is so annoying. I hate it. God. All right, I hate to end abruptly here, but I'll just meet you guys back down there in the next episode. So next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy 2, I'll meet you guys back down on the first floor of this stupid castle. Anyway, see you guys then. God, why don't I have an ether on me? Man!